<laughs> Hi everyone, Janie here, here with my good friend Robbie from Visit Our Garden. Thank you for having me Thanks up here up again. Here. <laughs> I think last time I was up here, it was late February. Yeah. So now it's end of May. So I'm happy to be here seeing all the changes in the garden. We just spent the whole morning installing an espalier. Working. Working hard. <laughs> he put me to work, but he did feed me lunch. So mm -hmm. it was fine. Yeah. But the deal was I would come and help him with the espalier if he would give me an updated garden tour yes. of his beautiful garden. So I want to share all of that with you. Uh, how old is your house? Our house is 100 years old. Right, like 100 years yeah. old, beautiful, beautiful home and gorgeous garden to yeah. match. It's and our garden is only two and a half years old. <sighs> I don't know yeah. how you guys do it. And every time I come up here, it's like something new and beautiful yeah. and just absolutely gorgeous. That's you, all we do. <laughs> you guys have been working really, really hard. There's so much really, really good stuff to see. Yeah. First of all, Freya. <laughs> right there and then <laughs> and then lola oh my god it's just too funny it's so funny that's how you'll be greeted every time you come to yeah, our house yeah that's how i was greeted when i came here it was mm -hmm. lola saying hi to me mm -hmm. okay let's get started we're gonna get started in the front yard robbie is mic'd up so he can show us around his yes. beautiful garden yep all right first Okay. Look at these beautiful things. Yep, so we did two uh, Super Tunia Vista silver berries on both sides. So there's a total of four over this arbor. Oh, man, when those grow in, they're going to be gorgeous. Yeah. They haven't even been up there that long. Maybe like three, four weeks at most. Oh my goodness. And they're already huge. They're going to be yeah. absolutely beautiful. What is this plant, this bush? Budlia. Budlia. And oh. it's, a, it's a white one. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It gives us a yard. lot of privacy from... Like there's a highway right there. Yeah. So it's not gives loud us, though, you guys. It gives us a good amount of privacy. It's not loud. Yeah. He's he's exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. All right. Yeah. Let's go see. Do you have anything else? People. Well, we hopefully about? you guys have seen his gorgeous porch. It's absolutely beautiful. They rebuilt <laughs> this whole thing. The entire uh, thing. The entire thing. I yeah. love it. It is so beautiful. We sit up here a lot, especially with having the fan up there. Yeah. It's a really nice area to be. It's we get so full pretty. protection from the hot afternoon sun. Oh my gosh! I just noticed your hollyhocks. You just noticed? I these? just <laughs> noticed. <these. laughs> I've been here all day and I just noticed. Okay, these. well these are my hollyhocks. Those They're are black. So pretty. Do you know the name of those? I planted them three years ago. Oh. I have no clue the name of them. They're so pretty. And this is the first year they've bloomed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And they are blooming. Yeah. Like blooming, like crazy. blooming. It's really, really cool. Oh my goodness. Save some seeds. I will. For me. Don't expect anything for three years out of them though. Okay. Cause like I said, this is year three. They almost got pulled this spring. Really? Yeah. Cause we're like, I'm not waiting another year for them to do nothing. You told me you had nothing to show me in your front garden. <sighs> I'm just it's not in love with it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Everything it is, up here has been neglected. Okay? It's, it is beautiful. I mean all like right. all of this came from like, it's self-seeded. Um, Queen Anne's Lace, I think. Ami? Ami. Is yeah. it Ami or Queen Anne's Lace? It's one of the two. Looks like Ami. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All okay. right, let's go let's see go your backyard, backyard. Where, we'll you go want, this way. where you want to show everybody. <laughs> okay, so coming down this way, we've tried to like restore a lot of things. So these lights are over 100 years oh old. Oh my also. goodness. They were a wedding gift. Oh, yeah. how sweet. So we wired those up. So that's what you like come in to the backyard through. I have to come here and see this at night one time. Yeah, well, we have all up lighting and everything. You do? Mm -hmm. So the whole property has up lighting. Is, the second is it... you open this door, like the this red bud here has an up light. Everything is all like 220 wired. It's nothing, wired yeah, in? Nothing is solar. Okay, so you know how I came and I helped you with that whole espalier thing? Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll come and we'll do all of that. I really need yes. lighting. I yeah, really need lighting. It's a huge think... game changer. In oh the my, I want it so yeah. bad, but I'm just kind of a little overwhelmed. It's it's not that hard. By it. Um, this has kind of just been like a really hard area. Yeah. This gets only hot afternoon sun, yeah. so it has to be, everything has to be able to bake. This is an Abraham Lincoln rose, Pretty. which is what a lot of um, cut roses come from. So oh. it sends up, you can see long stems with just like one bloom oh. and a long stem with one bloom. So it's, um, what do you call it? It's long like a, stemmed rose. Yeah. So it's right? like ones that like florists will use. Oh, neat. This is, this is usually where your like big roses come from. Oh, it's how like fun. This. Yeah. 
What is grown? Oh, is that uh, clematis? Yeah, it's the same one you have. Oh, yay! Yeah. See why we're friends? That's why we're friends. Yeah, it's, yeah. oh my gosh, you're gonna love that when it blooms. I cannot wait, yeah. Oh, it's... Well, the plan is to like, get it to train up this. It will. And then we'll go all the way over it in will. front of the window here. It will, it will be huge. You will love it. Yeah. It's it's gonna grow fast. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. And then, look, I did the black vertigo penicetum. <gasps> nice. So I remember that the is... name. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Thanks. You didn't call it a penstemon this time. I didn't call it a penstemon this time. <laughs> if you guys didn't get a chance to catch uh, my last garden tour at Robbie's, he was telling me about this giant plant that gets six feet tall called a penstemon. Yeah. And I'm thinking, a penstemon? Well, that's crazy. <laughs> so a penstemon is kind of a perennial. It's a small uh -huh flowering perennial yeah. and a penicetum oh, yeah. yeah it's massive <laughs> so there's his penicetum right there it's gonna yep. get absolutely massive what's this ground cover here is that a juga, a juga yeah oh that's so really pretty so i have pretty. a variegated one and the black and purple one. Oh, that is really pretty i like that a lot yeah. oh that is gorgeous and then your beautiful fountain, fountain here. Yeah, this is the same one you need. I love it. I cannot wait to get it. Do you still have fishies in here? No, we moved them to the back pond. Oh, so you did? No, we did, yeah. Okay. Because they were clogging up the oh. they were clogging up the filter. Okay. So they had to go. So yeah. And then these are pretty. Yeah, I just did those. Those are gorgeous. Yeah. I like the the coleus with the white there. That looks Me too. really good. Like three days ago, it was like solid white. It was so pretty. Aw. Yeah. Beautiful. And then this is the hollowed salvia. Mm -hmm. Everyone asks about this plant it's and gorgeous. hummingbirds go crazy for it yep. and it smells really, really nice. I love this yeah. plant. I had this in my backyard before and I used to look out the window and watch the hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. They're always on this. Yeah. And then they go and they sit on our fountain and they drink from oh, the fountain. It's so sweet. It's so cool. I have to say Robbie's backyard is like a sanctuary. Every uh, time you come back here, it's like so peaceful and calm yeah. and you feel relaxed. And the last thing I want to do is garden because I just want to sit. <laughs> well, we sat and we ate lunch for like an hour. Yeah, we really did. And we just hung out. It was really nice. He made a beautiful lunch for yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gorgeous. Okay, so let's go let's over. Let's like... show what we just did okay. this morning. So this beautiful. is the shade area. All ferns grow here. Ferns and hostas. I killed every fern and then I started planting them outside and now they do great. Oh, good. What is, is this a Japanese maple? It is. Yeah. Blood good? I need Japanese maples. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're hard here. They're yeah. hard on us. Yeah. So, I mean, that thing gets full shade. Yeah. And it's still kind of... It's just breaking dormancy. It looks I also good. didn't have water on for about a month. Okay. That might so, do it. you know... I hear a hummingbird right Oh, now. yeah. Right there. Was There's the hummingbird there? feeder. They'll probably <laughs> dive bomb you. Oh, really? Yeah. They're angry. <laughs> okay. First, so, show off your gorgeous rose. Oh, yeah. Holy this moly. This is the silver lining. This is so and this is one of my beautiful. Favorite. This is what it looks like all summer long. Really? And then um, once it starts to kind of like slow down in production, like towards like the end of summer, I cut it back and I cut it all the way down to the like very bottom. Like mm. there'll be like stubs like this long. Oh. And then it shoots up another flush for us. Oh. Because otherwise you can see how tall this one yeah. is right here. Yeah. This thing will just keep growing. So I have to cut it back. Yeah. Twice in the year. I cut it back early spring and then end of summer. Do you fertilize it? Yes. With? Nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to fertilize it. I, I yeah. fertilized all my other roses this year. I just missed You missed out. It still looks but happy. But I use rose tone. Okay. That's what I use for okay. everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it still looks good. It still looks like... Yes. It looks like it's been fertilized. But... It performs for us way better than actually the ones that I do fertilize. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is the best performing rose. Really? Mm -hmm. And it's not a David Austin. It's not me. a David Austin. It's just a basic... <laughs> Silver lining tree rose. Sometimes the basic ones are, are the best. Yeah. And then and here's the project our that we just did. Spolier, so it's honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, yep. It's gonna be so happy in the spot right here. It with is a be little so bit happy. of shade. Yep. You did what were those? Three gallon pots? Three gallon uh, starter pots? One gallon. One gallon. Yeah. So we right. did one gallon pots. But there was, and we did five of them. They're gorgeous. And they're gonna grow up so fast. We put all these eye hooks in. You can see like that. Uh, Robbie and his husband just painted this, actually just installed this fence and painted it black. Yep. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So you have this whole fence painted on this side of the house, mm -hmm. right? Now you just need to do this side. That side. No yeah. pressure, but. No pressure. Just... We'll get there. We'll get there. It's <laughs> going to happen. You got to do it. just doing it. What is that? A hydrangea? It's a hydrangea. Like a it's a lace cap. Oh, pretty. And the stems on it are black. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, that is and beautiful. And then it just laces out like that. Do you know what the name is? I have a video on it. Okay. Of me installing it. Okay. <laughs> Robbie forgot the name of it. 
<laughs> There's so many plants in this I garden know, I to remember know. the Sometimes name of it gets anything. So hard, yeah. to, especially when you're put on the spot and like, what's the uh, name, you know? Yes. And then you're going to be in the shower later and say, oh, I know the name That's of that. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. I have a video on it though. So when we were eating lunch, we were admiring this gorgeous tree. Yeah. It's a white alder tree. Oh my goodness. And it's about a year and a half old. And when I bought it, I was able to fit it in my car. <laughs> and I drove it home in my car. He doesn't have that big of a car either. Yeah, it's a little CRV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I fit it in the car. So it's a happy tree right it's now. It's one of the faster growing trees. Like it's like not like a willow tree, which we also have, but mm -hmm. it's up there with the willow tree. Yeah. So if you want something that is fast growing, this is definitely white alder. White. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. And I really like the shape of it. Yeah. It's very pretty and very open. And I, I just think it's really pretty. Yeah. And then it gets little tiny cones. Does it? Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute. It's, it's a really cool tree. Right, I might have to copy you yeah, with that one. You do. Even though you I have no to. space for it. Yeah. But. <laughs> um, and then the your aviary. wisteria yeah. is looking gorgeous. Yeah. It's five years old. Um, we have put this thing through the ringer. Have you? Yeah. So this is what wisteria does here. Mm -hmm. I know so many people say, oh, it's invasive. No, this is a five-year-old wisteria. Yeah. And that's how big it is. Yeah. So yeah. I think we got one bloom this year. Well, hopefully it'll come. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I feel like five years, it should start blooming should pretty soon. should do something. Yeah. We also, we abused it. It sat in a pot for like a year and a half. And then so, oh, yeah. it got a little bit of root rot. I cut it out. <laughs> it looks good now. It, it looks, looks happy now. Happy now. Yeah. Yeah. It's Beautiful. Yeah. And then we have your aviary. Yep, and we have a little finch in there. Do you have any babies? No babies yet, but okay. lots of eggs. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. And they just hang out all day. They stay they oh, stay out so year round. Do they? Mm -hmm. We don't get cold enough for them to right. need anything. How many of them do you have in here? 13. Aww. Yeah. It's so cute. Robbie's husband loves them. We can hear him like come out. Hey babies. <laughs> All the time. Well, when you talk to them, they get really loud. Do they? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. That yeah. is so sweet. Yeah. We had my sister had finches when we were growing up, and every mm -hmm. time we would talk on the phone, there was a landline and had a cord. <laughs> Do you remember that, Robbie? Oh, yeah. I remember that, okay. <laughs> and the finches would start screaming. I used to get so annoyed. But they're good out here. They're fine out here. Yeah. yeah. All right, then um, we have finally your beautifully espaliered apple tree. Yeah, I finally got it espaliered and now it's growing like crazy. It's beautiful. I'm going to do one more row up at the top, letting those guys get a little bit longer. Okay. And so it'll be four tiered. What kind of tree is this? It's an apple tree. What kind? Uh, gala apple. Oh, nice. Gala Very apple. nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Looking and then good. The creeping Jenny. That looks so good. I love that pop. And that was from just like a little six pack. <sighs> and for us, what's really nice is like during the winter time, it turns like a bronze color, mm -hmm. which I I love the bronze color that it turns. And then it does this, and it's so so beautiful. It's so pretty. Yeah. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is. Are these lilies that are growing? And they're black. <gasps> so for the longest time, I was obsessed with like black plants. Oh, that yeah. was three years ago uh -huh. when I planted the black hollyhocks. Uh -huh. I planted black lilies. I planted black oxalis, which is like a clover, which is this guy that's popping up everywhere in here. So oh, I, yeah. So I was trying to go for, I know everyone was doing the moon garden, uh -huh. but I was going for like you were a the black opposite. garden. <laughs> <You're> so <laughs> yeah. awesome. So I had black lilies, oxalis, <laughs> I had hoogera, I had all kinds of black plants everywhere. How fun. Yeah. And so now three years later, things are They've still- They still naturalized and they're still coming up. But I've, I've added more colors yeah. than just black. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of pink, a yeah. little yeah. bit of cream. There's some like apple blossom snapdragons there. These are beautiful. Yeah, they're scattered throughout the property. These you cut for me and put it in my bouquet they that you did. gave to me. Mm -hmm. They lasted so long. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. They were absolutely well, like, perfect. Local flowers definitely last so much longer. So usually when you buy flowers from like Safeway, grocery stores, wherever, um, they're imported usually from a whole nother country. Mm -hmm. So the so base been, life has already gone down. Right. Yeah. And yeah. they've been cut for a while. They've already been cut. Yeah. I, I mean, I couldn't We're like believe the ones it. I brought you. I cut them that morning. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And then this beautiful plant. I told you last time you came up, I can never remember the name of it. Rock Rose. Yeah. Orchid right? Rock Rose. Oh, okay. Orchid Rock Rose. Yeah. So it's beautiful. And you did, you pressed these flowers, right? I did press some of these. That was yeah. so beautiful. And they turned, they stayed the same color. No. When I press them. I'll show them to you when we go. Yeah. I want to yeah. see that. They're the exact same color. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Oh, that is going to be so beautiful. Yeah. So pretty. More of the apple blossom. More of the apple blossom. Oh, and then some gorgeous. scabiosa. 
And this is my favorite scabiosa. Which, do you know what it's called? It's either Black Knight or I know there's Dark a Knight or something. I know there's a scabiosa called Black Knight. Yeah. So that's probably It's one of it. a, something like that. It's I've got hibiscus growing back here. Oh. It's put on all of its growth. And oh, so nice. we should start getting ginormous red ones. Yeah. Like, they'll be, like, this big around. Oh, They're so huge. So fun. That's yeah. going to look so pretty back there yeah. in front of the black fence. Look at how good this fence looks, you guys. It completely transformed his garden. It makes the plants just, like, pop. This is, like, if you need <laughs> something in your garden, if you need to, like, spruce up something, yeah. painting well, or staining your fence. Yeah. They just, because they were, like, you know, the fence was, like, a whitish gray mm -hmm. color. Yeah. With the white blooms, the pink blooms just kind of disappeared on it. But with this, it just looks so good. Robbie, yeah. it's, like, it's night and day. Yeah. It, really it really looks is. beautiful. I can't wait to do the other side. Yeah. We, I mean. So, I mean, this, this section is going to be the hardest to do. Um, cause we have to replace all of it. So you're going to replace the fence. Yeah. Part of it will be able to, cause so this left side of our property is one person's property. And so we, sh it was easy to do. We just tore down the whole thing and just did it. Mm -hmm. This over here is two people's mm -hmm. property. The first one has already been replaced. We just have to put the fence boards up on mm -hmm. it. And then the second one is replacing everything. And have you talked to them about it already? No. Okay. And it'll be okay. a good time. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. <laughs> Another um, beautiful hydrangea here. Yeah, this is the endless summer variety. How does this do with this? Is this west facing? Uh, this, is west? this is east. So this, so is this west. gets full sun. Yeah. How yeah. does it do with that? It wilts in the middle, the very end of the day. It uh -huh. wilts. Yeah. But it does fine. Wow. I've been really surprised with it. Um, just... How well this can like take the full sun. Yeah. I told and Robbie he needs to take pictures just when like When I first this. planted it, it was blue. I was I wanted the pink, so I haven't done any like soil acidifier mm -hmm. or anything like that because I like the pink blooms more. It's beautiful. And then you have this Veronica here. Yeah, Veronica. And then what is this? This is a Dahlia. Dahlia? Oh. Mm -hmm. It gets yellow blooms. And so the yellow on the black, it, it looks like little sunflowers. They're really, really beautiful. Oh, pretty. Somebody told me I say Dahlia wrong. Dahlia? 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 I don't know. I don't know You're either. You're in the garden. Who cares? I know. That's why. Who cares? <laughs> Um, <laughs> then my wall of proven winners. It's beautiful. Yeah. These are going to get huge. I cannot oh wait my for that goodness. To just be like a wall of pink. Is that daybreak charm? It is. Oh, pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, this is going to look so good. Yeah. Beautiful. I love so I have that. Four vistas and then just the regular one. We'll see how the daybreak charm holds up to the rest. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You well, might have to trim a little yeah. bit to make sure it fits. Yeah. Pretty. And then your peonies are about done. Yeah, they are done. <laughs> But they were so beautiful yeah, for so one. long. Yeah. This one's beautiful. That one looks better. Yeah. And I'm not sure the variety. They were pink and then they changed to this like solid white color. So if anyone knows peonies that start off as like a light pink and then fade to this white. You let us know. You let us know because we do not know. No. And then what's this back here? Rebecca. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I'm surprised you I, have one blooming already. Me too. Okay. I planted them two years ago. Oh, yeah. well. Very yeah. beautiful. Okay, we gotta we gotta point out this. This is St. John's wort, and it's so beautiful. So these yellow blooms, and then these right here will all turn into beautiful red berries. Oh, it's so pretty. This and is they one like glow red. This is one that I when I walk back here, I said, like, "Oh, Robbie, what mm -hmm. is this?" And it's cool because like these like pointed leaves, and then they alternate, so they rotate. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So St. John's wort, I, you know, mm -hmm. of course I've heard of the supplement, but never heard of, there it is, right I there. mean, I've heard of the plant, but it looks prettier than I thought it yeah. would be. Right. It's really, and it's really pretty in the winter. And for us in warmer zones, it's an evergreen. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need this plant yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Let me step back and take <laughs> video of the gorgeous of willow. This, this was the very oh. first thing that we put in our garden. It is, it like is the centerpiece. So this was before we put anything else in. So this is three years old, this tree. Oh, it is so beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. I am so jealous right now of this. We come sit out here tree. all the time. I don't blame you. You should yeah. put like a, I don't well, know. We usually have a bench under here. Do you? Yeah. Last just... time I was here, you had the bucket for Lola, the duck. <laughs> Was yeah. that under here? <laughs> but is she, she's in the she's front in the front now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if she's not in her bucket, she screams at us the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the willow tree is my favorite thing on it the property. It is so beautiful, I mean, it's, Robbie. it's literally the, like, my logo is our yeah. willow. Yeah, so, and, and it's is, beautiful. We got married in our backyard, and Aww. when we got... When we bought the property, we knew we wanted to get married here, and we knew we wanted to get married under a willow tree. Oh, so, so we planted it, knowing in, like, three years' time. Yeah, 
And it, yeah. I mean, it's, just, and every year it's just going to get better and better. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. It, yeah. So you have to have people over so that we can take pictures like well, underneath the willow tree. I would like to tree. do a whole event. Yes. And like once the cut flower garden, yes! which we'll talk about in a second, takes off, I want people to come and we'll do a charcuterie board. Yes. And so people can hang out under the willow and cut their own rain. Cut their own flowers. And then you should have a photographer mm-hmm. here to take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Like have a little mini session. It'd be really okay, nice. We have a whole okay. plan, we have a whole plan. <laughs> Get the tickets. We'll let you know when the yeah. tickets are we'll on We'll let sale. you know. <laughs> Coming right. this way, I had some containers that were supposed to be in front of the shed, but okay. they broke yesterday. Mm, how did I they break? Through, well, Brent was cleaning them out for me. <laughs> so when he was cleaning them Brent. out, they broke. <laughs> yeah. This is my David Austin. This is Claire Beautiful. Austin. Oh, so pretty. In the morning, she perfumes the entire air. Oh, how nice. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's climbing rows. She'll get trained across Beautiful. this entire shed. So nice. Talk about these guys back here. These are looking good. These are the proven winners. Um, Hookra. Wildberry. No. They're a different one. They're okay. won by proven winners. I got them on clearance in oh. October. Oh, good for you. Yeah. And they looked rough. Did they? And this is what they have done. And I have probably cut off like probably 50 of these bloom spikes and used them in flower arrangements. They are so beautiful. Yeah. I don't think I ever knew you had a pond back here. Well, I just put that in. Oh, well, if there you go. If you watch my videos. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the fish down That's there. So they just hang pretty. out. Yeah. Oh, so good. The fish are still safe. They're back fish here. Fish are still safe. They're back here. What is this pretty thing? That is, um, bulgeweed. Bulgeweed? Nope. Bulgeweed. Yeah. Look it up. Honeywort. Honeywort. That's honeywort. Okay. Yeah. It's very pretty. It's really beautiful. And then your rose is right behind you. This rose is crazy. This one has um, been ripped out of the ground twice by me <gasps> from moving it different places. Aww. Uh, two years ago, I put it here. Or a year and a half ago, I put it here. It's obviously so and happy. It is so happy right It here. is like this, the most beautiful color, Barbie yeah. pink, right? It, it's crazy. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And it just constantly throws the blooms. It'll look like this for the rest of summer oh. you can see how many more buds there are so do you fertilize this one or no yeah i do fertilize this one with rose tone. everything else gets fertilized i just have to skip that one i just i we counted i think i have like 15 roses on the property <laughs> and i was like oh i have like six <laughs> nope no nope, it's 15. not yeah and then here's your artichoke we were looking at this last time it's gotten mm-hmm. so much bigger lots you, of artichokes on it what do you like heads what do you call them i think you call them heads they're artichoke gorgeous heads? Yeah, right. are you gonna eat them or are you gonna leave them for flowering um i thought that we were gonna eat some of them but they've been really bad with aphids this year oh so i feel like you had aphids when i was here probably last time they've been terrible this year oh i'm sorry so about that i'm gonna leave them and then i'll spray them out and use them in flower arrangements. Yeah, yeah. I think they're so beautiful when they bloom. They're so that beautiful. bright and, purple and color. And so many people, when I, I put them in arrangements last year, and nobody knew what they were. Oh, really? Yeah, everyone was like, what is this? What is that fancy yeah. thing? Okay, wait, let me back okay. up. Okay, so this. This is probably one of my favorite parts of your garden. This is my favorite part of is my it? garden. Is it? Yeah. It's Is gorgeous. this arch right here? And yeah. so we grow morning glories of it. I'll send you a video okay. so you have that and you okay. can pop it up of what it looks like. Okay, yeah. And we grow two different varieties. We grow chocolate and then a blue one. Oh, oh my gosh. And I have a video coming out. I can't remember. I don't know. Either before this or next week. Okay. Then the next like little bit, it'll be coming out about morning glories because so many people think that they're invasive. Yeah. Yeah. They're not invasive. Yeah. So yeah. I'll have a video out about that. I mean, if you leave it and you don't touch it for 20 years, then yeah, it can be a little yeah, bit invasive. Yeah, it's going to take over. Yeah. But it's not like certain ones. So like... The field bindweed, there's bindweed, uh-huh. which um, a lot of people think is morning glory. That spreads by rhizomes. Uh-huh. And that'll have like an eight foot root system. Oh my goodness. Yeah, where these guys just spread by seed. Oh. So these are all self seeded. Oh, nice. And that's all that came up. Oh, nice. So that's perfect. So you didn't yeah. even have to reset. There was maybe like six in here, and I just pulled the six out. Oh, that's, and that's perfect. It. That's yeah. wonderful. So beautiful. Yeah. I and love morning glory. This is our vegetable garden that I've turned into not our vegetable <laughs> garden. You have some. Yeah, yeah. Right? So we'll call it the vegetable garden. You have some. You have some cool. tomatoes. Yeah. Your two token tomatoes. tomatoes here. These are the ones that we picked up together, which I already oh, have. Oh, yeah. Two. I have tomatoes growing. Why are yours so much bigger than mine? Um, well, I'm a really good gardener. Yes. I'm I really guess good at it. That's it. You're the brains of this operation, I that's guess. It. That's it. Um, <laughs> This is all zinnias. What is was, this? This looks like corn. Um, no, it's a grass. Is it? Mm-hmm. 
So it's frosted explosions oh, and it makes my. a really cool filler. It's beautiful. And they'll get like a super purple color like this one is. And it's it's really, really pretty. Robbie does a really good job with filler or air in yeah. your bouquets. I try. You do. You I do. try really hard on that. It, every bouquet you make, it's like, oh yeah, I need I need more of I that. I also like over make them. You do. <laughs> so I, I had a much smaller vase for you. Wait, Robbie's extra? What? <laughs> I ripped out all my lawn to grow more flowers? No. <laughs> okay, anyways, Zinnias is here. Beautiful. We have a problem with the cat coming in, and it's not our cat. Uh-oh. And so he's like, yeah. Cosmos. Those cosmos. are Cosmos. Oh, yeah, this was supposed to be Zinnias. Those are Cosmos. I've, I direct seated Zinnias twice. Here? Right here. Oh, gosh. Not a single one came out. <laughs> So maybe you're not as good of a gardener as you I'm say you I'm a really good gardener. <laughs> maybe you're not yeah. as good. Talk about your raspberry. Okay. Don't forget to give me a, 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 a sampling. Baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, a shoot of it. Okay, well, so this is fall gold raspberry, and this is the best raspberry I've ever grown in my entire life. Here's one that's more yellow. Oh, good. I'm you can actually it. eat that one right yeah. there. They taste like candy, you guys. They're okay. amazing. They are so good. And it, I, people always ask me, oh, what do you make with them? Well, they don't make it to the house. Mm -mm. Nope. They, they don't even make it out of this vegetable garden. It seriously tastes like a piece of candy. Yeah. It's I'm not like a super big raspberry person. I'm, yeah. not a, I'm not a big fruit person, but I am obsessed with these. They so taste I'm gonna like give candy. Janie one of the runners that's coming up. Yeah. Um, they produce like crazy and they do get thorns, but they're not like that wicked. They're, yeah. So it's worth not that it. big of a, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. And I've got three different varieties in here. I've got some red ones, but I'm not. Yeah. They're, they're too bitter. I agree. Like too hurt yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. I, I don't i wouldn't normally so, eat those if you're gonna grow raspberries grow the fall gold ones you will not regret it i picked that up from tractor supply did you mm -hmm. i think it was like five bucks six bucks <laughs> and that's what it's done it's i crazy. need that in my life yeah. you know what though if i had that my husband jason he would he would literally eat everyone. He would beat me out there because he <laughs> loves, he likes the tart raspberries even. Oh, so he would ooh. totally beat me out Okay, there. yeah. So let's just not tell him that well, just won't even No, he doesn't need to know. <laughs> okay, what is this beautiful this thing? This is a Gardner Delight nectarine and it's a dwarf nectarine. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. So it only gets like eight feet tall at maturity. And it's in a pot. It's in a pot so it'll stay even smaller for even longer. Mm -hmm. And I, anything that's fruit I grow in pots, I grow veg, I grow strawberries underneath. Oh, that's so, so cute. Now, you had a little bit of trouble with I had a lot of trouble with it. Yeah. What I had to text you and ask you what yeah. was even going on. Yeah, you knew what you're it a was. Master gardener. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I needed a confirmation. Um, so he it, had like, a peach, peach, peach leaf curl. Peach leaf curl. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get peach leaf curl on nectarine plants, mm -hmm. um, and this one, I guess, is just one of the ones that are susceptible to it. I guess. So there's certain varieties of peaches and nectarines that are not susceptible to leaf curl, and then there are certain varieties that are susceptible, and they will they will almost guaranteed get yeah. it. And I'm pretty sure this is one that will yeah. get it. It's yeah. no big deal. You just have to spray it when they're Before dormant. Before yeah. anything even happens. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I missed my window, but I what I came out doing it was only on a section of it so I came and I tore all of that out with clean pruners threw everything in the garbage and um, I hand pollinated the flowers that were still there and I got I have a couple coming in oh there's nice. not much fruit but you know what you got some but even if I get one this year I'll be happy well hold on go back you hand pollinated them I, I came out like, here with a, a paintbrush because oh it was like it was <laughs> it was blooming before anything else in the garden I was like uh -huh. okay well there's no bees out yet uh -huh. so I came out with a paintbrush and I like and pollinated I each am one. so impressed with you. Every yeah. time I see you, I'm more and more <laughs> impressed. Can you please tell Brent to get video of that next time you're yes. hand I will pollinating? Make sure to get hand pollinating videos. Because <laughs> I want to see that yeah. big time. Absolutely. Yeah. What are all these down here? Um, garlic. And then I have Dianthus. Yeah. And a me. Pretty. Yeah. You are this is gonna be full it's by the time. Full. And then back there is basil. Okay. And that will also be, then I'm going to go in and fill that one with Cineos. Okay. Well, are you going to direct sow them? No, oh, God, no. I have yeah. them already sitting in a 72 know. count. I know. <laughs> I'm going to try and direct sow sunflowers, which sounds easy, right? It sounds like you should definitely be able to do that. I don't know what it is with me and direct sowing. I always have so much. Well, so oh. this bed was direct sown of sunflowers. Oh, good. But nope. Every single one of these shorter ones, that's a Zinnia where a sunflower did not 
come up. Okay, so it's not just me then. It's no. not. I. But I got all these ones to come up. Do you think it's the birds coming? It's definitely the birds. Okay. I've watched them. Um, the second that they start to sprout, yeah, they take them. Yeah, I think and that so that's what it is. It is, is the too. birds. I had a few people say no, birds aren't doing that when I was talking about it in the old video. I think it's. I suspected birds for a while. I and... watched the birds do it. Okay. Yeah. So I came out here and I put out bird netting. On uh, over on these. Over on it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now I don't know if I want to direct sew then. Yeah. I don't. don't. Know. Think about even, it. Even even you need to make sure that they get like a couple true leaves is the problem. Also. Really? Because I had, um, came back in and I re-sewed them with like ones that were started, but they were only like this big. They weren't big at all. And the birds came and, the and birds got came. them. Yeah, because they're Goodness, still so tender. Yes, that yeah. is crazy. So this looks good. This is supposed to be sunflowers also. But okay. It's, it's zinnias. Okay. Up to right here. All right. And then from here all the way down is dahlias. Oh my goodness, Robbie, this is gonna be incredible. Yeah. This is gonna be so good. There are I wanna say I have 72 varieties between this bed and the next bed. You can't see my face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this bed, the next bed over, are all ones that I started from seed. Oh my God. And so when you start dahlias from seed, yeah. you get to name them if you want to keep them. Janie. I'll name one Janie. <laughs> I'll let you come pick out which one you want to name Janie. Um, you guys heard it. That's it. <laughs> so we get to name it, and then if we like it, you divide the tubers, and you can take cuttings, and you oh just continue to goodness. grow it. Oh, so I want a Robbie. next year, you'll be able to grow a Janie. Yay! I want to grow a Janie, Robbie, and Brent. Perfect. That'd be so fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and a Lola. You should make a Lola, too. Lola drives me crazy. Okay, no Lola. <laughs> Lola does not get her own Dahlia. <laughs> Lola the duck, just to remind you guys. <laughs> We love her. We secretly we love her. I can't believe you have 72 varieties. It's a lot. That is a lot. It's a lot. That it's is. A, it's a lot of work. Oh my goodness. It's been a ton of goodness, work. Goodness, but it looks so good. Yeah. You guys have done such a good job. There's mahogany slender hibiscus. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people online, I think it says it only gets like this tall. Yeah, no. For at least us in warmer zones, mine got like this big. Oh my goodness. It was insane. And there was so much to cut on. It was so beautiful. Oh. That's incredible. I had somebody comment on one of my channels and said, uh, if a David Austin Rose claims that it grows three to four feet tall, mm -hmm. then in California it will grow minimum six feet tall. That sounds about right. Yeah. So it, that's like, that's well, like. Well, so that's what I did. So I have a David Austin. It's called Queen of Sweden. Mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be one. The blooms face straight up and it's oh. the most, it's my favorite one. And it's supposed to only be about this tall. Yeah. Yeah. Last year it was this tall. Yeah. Time. Isn't that funny? Yeah. So it's, it's just. we have such a long growing zone. Yeah. Yeah. Time. If you get it right and you, you know, you give it enough water, mm -hmm. it's just. I mean, like nine months of growing. Nine you know, months. It's crazy. It's a lot. Yeah. So yeah, they get big. Yeah. Zinnias. Zinnias. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and then this is something I'm excited about. It's called Honesty Plant. Oh. Um, and you grow it for the seed heads. Huh. And they're like well, a papery seed head. You'll have to pop a picture up. Once I will. you see it, you'll know exactly what it is. Okay. And it, they're really, really beautiful. They're super delicate. Why are they called honesty plants? Do you know? I don't know. We need to look that they're up. Full of truth. We need to look. I bet there's a whole story I'm behind sure there it is. that we need. <laughs> that we need to look up. From here all the way to the end of this bed is um, scabiosa. Oh, pretty. Because I'm obsessed with scabiosa. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, this is going to be so good. Four different good. varieties tucked in this. Oh, this is going to be so yeah. good, Robbie. I cannot wait to yeah. see this all grown in. And then some amaranth here. This I'm surprised is... your amaranth is so big already. Yeah, me too. Huh. Me too. This is hot biscuit and red spike. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We haven't even had that hot of a spring. No, I have no clue why they're doing this at all. They're just happy. Yeah. I think that that's And then is. back there, that plant is probably one of my favorites. I have a video I'm working on of my top 10 favorite performers in the garden. Oh, fun! And this is probably one of my number ones. So if you can't grow a Japanese maple, uh -huh. I highly recommend growing this. What is it? It's a Vitex. Oh. So they look like Japanese maple leaves, kind They're of. They're beautiful. And then all of these right here are blooms and it blooms purple or pink. I have the pink variety and this thing will just be chock solid full of pink blooms. It's the most beautiful thing ever. The bees are obsessed oh my with goodness. it and it blooms for the entire summer. Do you know if there's any sizes that are smaller than this that would fit? This is the smaller size. That is the smaller yeah. size. So it's also known as a chase tree because it gets like tree size. <laughs> this is the small size. 
But this is, I was like, oh, is, is there maturity. a dwarf? <laughs> yeah, this is it. This, this is, is the dwarf, dwarf variety. Uh, oh, I'm so excited to see that. Six feet tall dwarf variety. Well, it's very pretty. If you guys need yeah. to fill up some space. Yeah, and they say, I guess you can use the, um, I'm going to let you hold this. Mm -hmm. So these are the like seeds that it shoots out. Mm -hmm. And I guess that people use it like pepper. Oh, I could see that. They kind of look like yeah. it. So okay, I gonna, guess they have a... I'm going to smash it and smell it. You can't. Oh. They don't smell. They you don't? You can't smell them. Yeah, you have to grind them. You have to taste it? Yeah. They kind of have a little bit of smell. Do they? A little bit. A little bit. You're like, okay, yeah, a right. Bit. You're like, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. How cool. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for that video. It's, it's, When's that coming one. out? Um, I've, I'm waiting for everything to really be in bloom so oh. I get good footage of it so people can see, like... Yeah these plants in their full glory. Yeah. That's so, hard to do though. So I'm getting footage. As time goes. As time goes on, okay. yeah. So I'm, and the last thing I'm waiting for is this to start flowering, uh -huh. which in a, maybe a week or two. Oh, fun. And then I'm waiting for the Rose of Sharon, one of oh. them to yeah. bloom. Yes, yeah. that's a good it's, one It's too. a good plant, yeah. I like that one too. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, awesome. Oh, and this is new. You just got this, right? This dogwood? Yes, I got it because you had it. I know. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. But it's this, so you didn't get the same kind as I did. Oh, shit. This is the Halo. Yeah. I have the Elegantissima. <sighs> you but know, you told me that, and I was going to go back and watch the video, and I didn't even watch my own video. <laughs> <laughs> Who has time for that, not, right? Not me. But this is very pretty. I mean, yeah. this, is, this looks almost exactly the same, except for I think my my branches are darker than yours. I think. So this one, was the branches, like, supposedly get red. Yeah. On this one? That's what mine does, too. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's basically the we'll same. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty. Yeah. I think it is so pretty. This looks good, Thanks. good, good. Okay, I wanted to point out his tree dahlia. Yes. Show you guys. Mine I just planted in my garden. It hasn't even sprouted yet. But here's his. So, what would you say? Two feet tall? Yeah, probably right about now. two feet tall. I mean, yeah. Right? On my thigh. And then it's going to get... Is this the... Um, it's the same one that you have. Okay, well, I can't remember that. I'll put it, I'll pop it on the screen right now. I don't know either. <laughs> Imperialis. Yes. Yeah, that one. Dahlia Imperialis. That's the tree. Super Dahlia. massive. Yeah, with the beautiful lace. And they look like ballerina skirts. Yes, that's the perfect way to describe yeah. them. So here's this one. That is so we'll see pretty. how mine do. I'm and you can see this was last year's stock. Oh my how God. thick that was. Look at that. So, Look I mean, that. that's like a massive stock. Oh, that's awesome. And you just left this in the ground? I just, yeah. Well, so when I bought it, um, I bought it in its dormant stage from a nursery uh -huh. and it had last year's stock. In oh, it, it did. So, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. And I planted it in the winter. I mean, we're zone nine. So yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave mine in the, in the ground. ground. I'm going to leave them in the ground too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how it does. Um, do you know what this is? Cause I don't. That's a salvia, right? I don't know. Black and blue salvia. Doesn't I... that look like, uh, yeah. I don't know. It I don't looks, know either. Looks like a black and blue I salvia. I planted it. <laughs> You'd think I would know. <laughs> And everybody weigh in on that one. To me, it looks like a black and blue salvia, but... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Lots of beautiful Dusty Miller. Yeah, that's two years old. Oh, point out your lilac. Oh, yeah. So, super crazy. I killed the lilac. And... You it, obviously didn't kill it well, all the way. Well, so it died all the way to the ground. And I, I, like, yanked the stems out. And this is how it came back. It's oh, variegated. variegated. Isn't that neat, you guys? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it came back variegated. Some people were telling me that they don't think it's a lilac, but I know I planted a lilac there. I have the tag, so it says it was a lilac sensation. Okay. And I mean, variegated. you know, even whatever it is, it is gorgeous. Yeah. The variegation is absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping, you know, that it lives. <laughs> I'm hoping it has enough. Uh, green to like oh, for yeah. chlorophore or whatever yeah. it is to like be yeah. able to continue growing. Yeah. Like some of these are like super white. Super, super white. Like that is all white. Yeah. So, so that's not taking no. any But chlorophyll. Some of these that are half. Yeah. They should be fine. I feel like that's fine. That's so interesting to me that the variegated survived. Well, it wasn't variegated when I planted it. Isn't that funny? It was just funny? solid green when I planted it, which it's is like even crazier. It's mutated. Yeah. You has. have to leave that in because we oh, have to see what plan. happens I to it. I want to see what happens we to this. We have to see what happens yeah. to it. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely so gorgeous. We bought those together, but oh. I think that I bought two different varieties. Mine are blue, not Here's purple. Blue. Okay, so okay, that's why I think there are two different varieties. Mm -hmm. My two blue ones, that's the blue one right there. Oh, mine is still... They mine died. 
Oh, I'm and sorry. Like you can see, there's that one has a little bit of blue left oh, on I'm it. Oh, I'm so sorry. But this has been amazing. See, mine looks like that, and, and it's purple. blue. Yeah. Mine, mine is doing, but I have mine in way more shade than that. Yeah. So. Well, I thought this was more shade. Yeah. Yeah. But it's right here where the shade ends. So yeah. That's where I have runner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I want Pucaros. this in my garden. Look at Robbie's in zone nine, and he's growing runner. You can definitely grow runner yeah. in zone nine. Yeah. So just so you guys know, that's two years old. I've always kind of shied away from runner just because mm -hmm. I've always heard that you can't grow it in zone nine. Oh, you totally I have it in can. two different places. Great. I'm yeah. getting some. It's going in my garden. Good. You need it. This is so beautiful, Robbie. Every time I come here, your garden been, looks more and more fun. gorgeous. What are you working on next? What's the next? Well, we'll finish the fence there. Okay. And then it's just pretty much like small projects. Waiting for it to grow in Waiting and everything Waiting for it to grow like in. That. And then the flower farm that we're doing right oh, here so is, yeah. Are you going to sell thing. any of your flowers or just? I think when I, not I think, when I first started this, it was definitely something that we were going to like sell the flowers. Mm -hmm. But I don't want another job yeah. per se. Yeah. Making YouTube videos and then my full time job. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to so, still have joy in it and everything. Yeah, like and I that. don't want I'd rather just give the flowers away. Yeah. So yeah. I've already cut maybe fifteen flower arrangements from back here <gasps> and given all fifteen away. I got one. So yeah. And Janie it was got, absolutely Janie got the biggest one actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the <a> favorite. <laughs> yes. I'm the bestie. <laughs> so it's been good. Yay, um and well, I just want to be able to give them away. Can you guys here like you have the wind chime it's like the most relaxing garden it's literally <laughs> a secret garden back here you have the finches yeah. well you, you have come the to the front chilling. and it looks tiny it does but it is absolutely not yeah. oh man so i love this it's very garden. good i love Thanks. it thank you yeah. thank you for showing us around and letting me come out and bug of you course. all day today <laughs> thanks for coming and bothering me <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys i hope you enjoyed that i absolutely love robbie's garden so much I wish that we could have like the whole ambiance on the video because that right. really is what yeah. most of this garden is about. Yeah. So anyway, thank you, Robbie. Thank you you are the best. Nope. I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. Bye, guys.